Hey folks, we're going to do the fastest video ever on rank, dense rank, and partition bias. So let's get started. No hand holding. I have a table, and as you can see, it has an employee, a salary, a department, and a gender. Of course, these would normally be lookups, but they're not. It's just an example. What I want to do is I want to rank everybody by salary. So what I can do is write a whole bunch of SQL code, or I can just use rank, the rank function, the rank analytical function, with the over keyword, where it says order by salary descending. So it's going to go by salary descending, and it's going to start with the number one, and it's just going to rank it like that. Now here's what it looks like. Now you notice rank does something interesting. See, the first two people tied for first place. They both make 898,000, so they both get a rank of one. But then what does rank do with the third person? Well, they are third. They came in third place, so it gives it a three. See, it skips right over the number two. That's how rank works. It just does that automatically, okay? And then it continues to rank everybody all throughout. And then a whole bunch of people make 29,000, so they, and they just happen to get 29. Oh, that's weird. Okay, now dense rank is a little different. Uh, rank will skip over. It'll go 1, 1, 3. Dense rank doesn't. It goes 1, 1, 2. What's better? It depends what your customer wants. Give it to them both ways. See what they like better. So dense rank where these will tie for first and then it skips over two and goes right to three, dense rank goes one, one, two. So one, one, three, or one, one, two. It's, it's a minor difference, but it is a difference, but you have to know both of these when you go for the job interview. Now, you know as well as I do, this information is pretty much not very helpful to somebody. They're going to want it broken down by department. How on earth would you do that? Well, let's go back to rank again. We added something called partition by department. And what this is going to do, it's going to rank every department in order. And then when it gets to the next department, it's going to start over again. This is really cool. And if you had to write this without using the, this functionality, you'd be in for a really long day. Okay, so now what we have is advertising because it start, it's the first department alphabetically. 32,000, 32,000. So one and one. So one, one, three, four. But then cafeteria, it starts over. One, two, three, four. HR, it starts over. One, two, three, four. Boom. And then lastly, we're going to show dense rank using partition by department. And it's the same kind of thing. The only difference, again, is dense rank doesn't skip anything. So it goes one, one, two, three. But then for cafeteria, it starts over. One, two, three, four. HR, it starts over. One, two, three, four. And there you go. You have the whole thing in under three minutes.